Welcome to a, another episode here on uh, Game Breaker Creation and uh, we are today going to be exploring some retro game. Yes, Tetris is what we are playing today. Uh, I have uh, fooled around on this just a tiny little bit so I can get used to the controls as it's a little bit different uh, from the Xbox version that I had been used to playing. Uh, so we're going to be playing Tetris here. We'll see how uh, bad I do. Uh, in the Xbox, I was quite good, but in this, uh, with these controls, I, I'm not sure uh, just how good I will be, uh, whether or not I'll do well or do poorly. Uh, the setup is a little bit different with this one. They don't have like a points counter that normally s sits there, so you can look at that and see how good you're doing. Uh, instead, they have these little squares that you're supposed to get rid of uh, to clear a round. Uh, if you just keep going in the round, it just keeps adding up points, but they don't tell you how many points you have until the end of the round. So that's a little bit different from the, uh, from the version I was used to playing, uh, as well as with those controls being a little bit messed up here. Um, we'll see whether I do poorly or I do well, I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll get right into this and uh, you can watch me uh, make fun of me. Go ahead. Uh, I do not really <laughs> mind at all uh, being made fun of as uh, this is definitely not something I have, am used to playing a lot of. Um, let's put that down like that. Uh, as I prefer other types of video games, but I thought if you're going to go retro, how much more retro can you get than Tetris? I mean, this is a simple classic. That is is certainly true. I'm going to put that like that so it sinks down. And uh, yeah, so I thought this, uh, if we're going to explore some retro games, which I plan to explore some more retro games, uh, this I figured was a great place to start just, be, uh, just because uh, it is such a classic that everyone knows Tetris. Um, you don't even have to be into video games to really know and understand what Tetris is. Um, so yeah, I figured we'll start with this, see where we go from here uh, in terms of retro games. Uh, my son is definitely going to be sitting in on some retro games uh, at some point here as uh, he loves he wants to see the kind of games that I grew up playing, and I think it's going to be a shock to his system. <laughs> Kids are just not used to not used to these things. They're used to having everything on their phone and uh, having better graphics and technology. Although he plays a lot of Roblox and Minecraft, which the graphics aren't super great, so this might be right up his alley. And you can feel free to uh, let me know in the comments just uh, what your favorite classic game was growing up. Um, as I know, we all had different favorites and different things that we enjoyed playing growing up. Uh, mine, of course, I loved Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, I also played a lot of Jurassic Park. Um, and after that, it became more sports games. Um, such as the uh, NHL franchises. I loved those games. Uh, and then Need for Speed was another one that I played a lot of. Um, I Back in the day I did Call of Duty, although I was never very good at it. Uh, Call of Duty was more my brother's game that he was really good at. Same with racing. Uh, my brother was fantastic at racing games. Uh, way better than I was. So yeah but uh, we'll explore some of those games my son might show you some more of the racing games i know he wants to explore some of the pokemon games as well as uh, exploring uh i want to show him zelda and final fantasy uh the originals so uh, we'll just have to see how much he enjoys that and uh yeah i'm hoping he does as uh, i think it'll be just kind of a fun way to uh, hang out and show him things that I used to I used to enjoy and uh, get that experience now with my family I think that is the absolute spirit of retro gaming 
So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy watching this, um, watching me kind of fumble around and uh, retry and figure out the controls on this particular version. I am using an Xbox controller um, with this emulator, so yeah, the controls are kind of backwards and I know I can change them. Um, but every time I change them, it seems to change them back after every single game. So I'm just getting annoyed. So I'll just, I'll just leave them and uh, yeah, we can, we'll just figure the controls out each game. Um, actually, that's perfect. If you have any games you would like to see me explore in the retro realm, um, feel free to let me know that as well, as uh, there's lots of games uh, that you can explore. Um, I did try a little bit of Big Game Hunter, ah, shoot, yesterday. I was busy talking, not paying attention to that one. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I find that and fishing I tried. Um, I, I found them kind of boring. Um, I found it interesting to see Oregon Trail was in the list of uh, games you can have for the emulator as well. Uh, I played a lot of Oregon Trail growing up, uh, usually ended up dying. Um, as that is a bit more of a challenging game. Um, not 100% sure if I'll emulate that one, um, although uh, it would be interesting to see my son play that game um, and whether or not he will, would survive playing it um, or if he would die. I don't know. should drop. Yeah, I love kind of the Flintstone character they've got in the picture in the background. That's kind of a... brings back a lot of memories of that as I watched a lot of Flintstones growing up. And it's definitely indicative of the early 90s and the in that uh, in that sense when you're looking at when this game was made it's no surprise that they chose that series as a feature in the background And that's going to drop. Did not go where I wanted that to go. This is definitely a little different from the Xbox version. And I did turn off the sound so I don't get any 
copyright dings for the music that they play. I don't know if there's copyright still on it or what. Uh, it's not worth the risk to get a copyright infringement ding on my YouTube channel. So if you're looking forward to some music, I apologize. Uh, that won't be happening. It's starting to build up. So drop, clear that. There we go. There we go. We cleared around 9,550. See, I wish that they would tell you those points um, while you're going. I kind of like to know that. And I'm not used to having the little boxes at the bottom to clear. I'm used to just building up as we go instead of having to worry about boxes. Um, so that's a, a new one for me. I'm not sure if that's how the Atari version did it or if that's just a Super Nintendo thing. Uh, if you know, feel free to shout that out and let me know. So I'd be really interested to see if that's actually an interested one. Um, I might find the Atari version and uh, answer that for myself. But if someone knows, save the lazy me from having to look it up. Actually, let's do that the other way. That way, when I get that, that'll drop. too fast. Okay, that is open. And if we move that over there, drop that one down, that clears that round. That was a quick round. Yeah, when I was used to playing the more advanced I got in it, the faster everything drops. So I'm not sure if that's going to be the case with this version as well. So as I am not definitely used to playing this Super Nintendo version of this particular one. Let's drop that. So that'll drop, clear that, clear that. Let's drop that on there.
need to get that little corner one free. Let's drop that there. Let's drop it there because that'll clear both those. Um, let's do that. And then this should clear that. Finish off that round. All right, so we got a little bit more here to deal with. Definitely a game of quick thinking, which is something my brain is not quite as used to anymore with all my seizure brain uh, that I have. It uh, definitely impairs my cognitive abilities, so this is something the doctors would probably tell me is good for me to play, as it keeps my brain a little bit more active. Actually, I'll drop that down there to line that sucker up. To drop that, oh, did not quite do what I hoped.
that, and that'll line that pink one up to drop. both of those and It's not quite where I wanted that one to go. So let's clear some of that stuff. I'm not sure how many you remember playing Tetris growing up, but uh, yeah, I would definitely be curious to hear about that as well. Let me know some of your high scores you guys have gotten, how far you've been in this game. As I know there are some people who are extremely talented at this game. I'm just not, not liking the way that's building up. Ugh, fucker. Let's drop that right there. getting the time to turn those the way that I would like to. Um, oh, I should put that right up there, but it's going to drop some room on that side. say no for now. Um, <coughs> could have been a lot better. But uh, yeah, that's Tetris. Let's see if I can find a different game and uh, we'll do another stream at some point here with uh, someone else. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Watch how uh, I struggled there. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. Gave you some laughs, maybe. Uh, gave you some uh, memories as well, I hope. As uh, that's the whole point in a lot of these retro games, is uh, bringing back memories of childhood. Uh, things you maybe played with uh, your relatives, your siblings, uh, even your parents. Growing up, memories of maybe your first gaming system. So uh, feel free to share any of those with me. Uh, please do leave a like, share, and subscribe. 
uh, and uh, sharing is definitely the key one there. If you subscribe, hit the little notification bell so you get notifications in future videos. And uh, please do share it with your friends. Uh, let them have those memories as well uh, and uh, share the laughs with them. Uh, you can also find me on Patreon. I will leave a link to that in the YouTube video description. Uh, you can find me on Buy Me A Coffee. I'll leave a link to that as well in the video description. Uh, or if you uh, have any suggestions that you'd like uh, to see me play, uh, feel free to uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know uh, if you, what, you're, what you enjoyed uh, about this in the comments as well. Or you can shoot me an email, uh, tpeters745 gmail.com. Uh, if you have a system or anything that you'd like me to try, um, feel free to shoot me an email and uh, we'll get that figured out. We'll uh, show off some of that in here. Uh, same with if you have a game just coming to the market uh, or uh, one that's even been in the market a while but you'd like to uh, have a video done, uh, feel free to uh, send me that as well and uh, we'll get that done. So thanks for watching. Uh, we will catch you on the next